Christmas socks. I mean, stockings. It just sounds better that way. Because nobody wants to eat candy or get presents that have been sitting in a stinky old sock overnight. And they need to be bigger anyway, because the stockings are loaded. Notice the size difference. It's like a testament to Christmas materialism. This thing's big. A close second to the pillowcase of plunder you collected on Halloween. I say close second because after you take out all the nasty candy you don't want to eat, and the questionable ones your mom won't let you eat, and the obligatory daddy tax on whatever's left, then you have something slightly larger than what you'd get in your Christmas sock. Stocking. At Christmas, when we were kids, your stocking was fair game the minute you got up. While mom and dad lounged in bed, we'd be well on our way to a sugar-frenzied high, followed by the unavoidable stomach pain that came from force-feeding ourselves half our body weight in sugar. In later years, we started a slightly different tradition. We'd get our candy in our socks, stocking. But at the same time, my parents would throw in an exotic fruit of some kind, or a vegetable. While it might sound lame to some, all of you, try imagining the fun of opening up a coconut on Christmas morning. That was hilarious. I think the fruit in the stocking comes from the olden days when apples and oranges were actually treats, instead of nutritious things your parents would force feed you, like they are now. There's really no limit to what you can do if you just think outside the sock. I mean, we've had turnips, papayas, mangoes, plantains, star fruit. And you don't have to stick with just fruit. Experiment with different foods from different cultures. There's lots of exotic stuff out there that you can just throw in to make the holiday special. Like escargot. Really, it's all the rage in Europe. Come on, eat your Christmas snails. And you can eat them before mom. Or oysters. There's another great one. Oysters. You know, one of these years I'm gonna do coal. Not charcoal, I've gotten that already. I mean real coal. I might have to give it to myself though. I'd light that rock on fire and just let it burn all Christmas long.